Om Shanti. This is the Aviakt Merli of the 19th of May 2024. Original date 15th of December 1999. Title Realize the importance of the power of thoughts and increase it by experimenting with it. Today the highest on high father is pleased to see all his elevated children. Out of all the souls in the whole world, you children are the most elevated. You are the highest. People of the world speak of those who are the highest in the world. However, that is just for one birth, whereas you children are the highest, most elevated of all in the whole cycle. You are the most elevated throughout the whole cycle. Do you know this? Look at your eternal form. You eternal souls remain close to the Father eternally. Can you see that in your eternal form you are the most elevated souls who remain close to the Father? All souls stay with the Father there, but your place is very much closer to the Father. Therefore, eternally, you are the most elevated of all. Now move on to the beginning of the cycle, the first period of time, when all of you children have attained your deity status and are in your deity forms. Do you remember your deity forms? At the start of that age, you are embodiments of all attainments. You are the most elevated in all ways in terms of your bodies, minds, wealth and out of all the people. You are constantly full embodiments of all attainments. No other souls attain such a deity status. Even the righteous souls, Dharamatmas and the great souls, Mahatmas, are unable to experience being elevated with all attainments, where there is no attainment even slightly missing. Now move on to the middle period of time. Even in the middle period of time, you souls are worthy of being worshipped. Your non-living idols are worshipped. No other souls are worshipped as accurately in the right way, as you worthy of worship souls are. Just think about it. Is anyone else worshipped as accurately as you are? Because you became karma yogis, every act you performed is worshipped. Even though there are idols of righteous souls and great souls, with your idols in the temples, they are not worshipped as accurately in the right way as you are. Therefore, even in the middle period of time, you are the highest, the most elevated of all. Now, come to the present time of the end of the cycle. At the end too, in this confluence age, You are the most elevated souls. What greatness do you have? You take sustenance from both Bap and Dada, the Supreme Soul and the First Soul. That is, you take sustenance from Bap Dada. You study with them. You claim a right to receive Srimat from the Sat Guru. Therefore, eternally, at the beginning of the cycle, in the middle period, and also now at the end, you are the highest and most elevated of all souls. Do you have that much intoxication? Babdada says, now let this awareness emerge. 
constantly keep this attainment in your minds and intellects. The more this awareness emerges, the more you will experience the intoxication of it. You will also experience happiness and become powerful. You have become the highest souls. Do you have the firm faith that you are now the most highest and became the most elevated and that you will constantly be the most elevated of all souls? Do you have the intoxication of this? If the faith you have in this is strong, raise your hands. The teachers too raised their hands. You mothers are always swinging in the swing of happiness. You are swinging, are you not? You mothers have great intoxication. What intoxication do you have? That the Father has come here for you. You have this intoxication, do you not? From the Copper Age onwards, everyone made you mothers fall. And this is why the Father has a lot of love for you mothers. This is why the Father has especially come for you mothers. You are becoming happy, but you must remain constantly happy. Not that you raise your hands now, but that when you are travelling by train, your intoxication reduces a little. Your intoxication has to be constant and imperishable. Do not have intoxication only sometimes, because it is your eternal intoxication that shows your happiness. Let the faces of you mothers always be such that you are seen as spiritual roses, even from a distance. The visible speciality that everyone likes about this world university is of you mothers who are constantly like spiritual roses in full bloom and that it is you mothers who have taken the responsibility of carrying out such a huge task. Even the Maha Mandalishwas believe that it is you mothers who have become the instruments to carry out such a huge task so easily. It is wrongly said of women that they can't even work together or that they find it very difficult to work together. However, who are the instruments here? It is you mothers. When people come to meet you, what do they ask? Is it women who run this organization? Do they never fight among themselves? Are there never any conflicts? What they don't know is that you are not ordinary women, that you are women who have been created by God himself, that it is God's blessings that are making you do everything. You brothers do not think that the mothers are given more regard, do you? You brothers are also remembered as the five Pandavas. Together with the Shaktis, the seven goddesses, they have also shown one Pandav. The mothers cannot do anything without the Pandavas. The Pandavas cannot do anything without the mothers. Both arms are needed, but because the mothers had been put down so much, the father is showing you in a practical way that what everyone else in the world considers to be impossible, you have made possible. All of you are happy seeing the mothers, are you not? Are you not? You are happy, are you not? If the father hadn't made the mothers his instruments, then because this is new knowledge and a new system, if it were still the brothers, there would be a lot of upheaval. 
The mothers are their shield because this is new knowledge. These are new things. However, the brothers are always there with the sisters. The Pandavas are ahead in their own task and the sisters are ahead in their own task. All of this work proceeds without any obstacles because the advice of both is taken. Every day Bapdada sees all the work that all of you children do and how you continue to create new plans. All of you are aware of what time this is. Do you remember the time? The year, 99, has almost come to an end. You were thinking that the year 99 has arrived. 99 has arrived. It was a year for you to serve and remain free from obstacles. It is in this year, 99, that you have been having silent batties. To the extent that everyone in the world is afraid, you are going into the depths of remembrance. There is silence of the mind anyway. You go to the bottom of the ocean of knowledge and bring back jewels of new experiences. Bap Dada had also sent you a signal earlier to tell you that the greatest treasure you have, the treasure that enables you to create your future as well as the present, is your treasure of elevated thoughts. The power of thoughts that you children have is a great power. It is a power of elevated thoughts. Everyone has thoughts, but it is only you who have the power of elevated thoughts. The power of good wishes and pure feelings. The power that enables you to concentrate your minds and intellect. The more progress you make, the more you will continue to accumulate your power of thoughts. You must not waste this power. The main way in which you waste this power is by having waste thoughts. Babdada has seen that even now, the majority of you are still having waste thoughts throughout the day. Those who use their physical wealth economically always have plenty. Those who waste their wealth are deceived at some time or another. Similarly, your pure elevated thoughts have so much power that you are able to increase your catching power and your power to catch vibrations. Just as the instruments of science the wireless, the telephone, etc. do their work. In the same way, when you have the treasure of pure thoughts, then, even though you may be sitting in London, you are able to catch the vibrations of souls just as clearly as you would be able to do through the wireless, the telephone or the TV, etc. So many of these facilities have been invented, but your catching power will be much sharper than any of them. This will also increase with your power of concentration. All of those supports are coming to an end. On what basis do all of those instruments function? On the basis of light, electricity. All the physical facilities of comfort are based on light. So can your spiritual light, your soul power, not do this task? You should be able to catch whatever vibrations you want from those who are near or far. Only when your minds and intellects are both concentrated and stable will your catching power increase. You will have many experiences. When your thoughts are selfless, pure and clear, 
you will have many experiences very quickly. Science will bow down in front of your power of silence. Even now, people think that there is something missing in science that needs to be accomplished. This is why Bapdada is once again underlining for you that your power of thoughts will enable you to do fast service in your final stage. Therefore, pay greater attention to the power of your thoughts. Save it and accumulate it. It will become very useful. You will be able to become a soul who constantly experiments with the power of your thoughts. What is the importance of science? It is only when scientists make scientific experiments that people believe that they are doing something wonderful. Therefore, in order to experiment with your power of silence, you need the power of concentration. The main basis of the power of concentration is to have the power to control your mind. It is with this that you increase the power of your mind. The power of the mind is praised a great deal. Those with occult power also show temporary miracles with the power of their minds. You too will show benevolent miracles by using the right method, not with occult power. These will become blessings. This experiment with the power of thoughts will be proved to be a blessing for souls. Therefore, first of all, check whether you have the controlling power to control your mind. Just as with science you are able to switch something on or off in a second, in the same way, check whether you are able to control your mind in a second for as long as you want in the way you want. You should be able to see yourself as an embodiment of success, both in yourself and in service. However, Bapdada sees that, at present, you only pay ordinary attention to increasing your account of the power of thoughts. You don't pay as much attention to that power as you should. You speak and act automatically on the basis of your thoughts. There will be no need to make individual effort if you pay attention to this. You think, today I will pay attention to control my words. Today I will pay attention to my drishti. Today I will change my attitude by paying attention to it. When your power of thoughts is powerful, you can automatically control all of these things. You will then be saved from having to labour. So realise the importance of the power of thoughts. The batties are especially being conducted for you to be able to instil this habit. By continuing to pay attention to the habits you instill here, you will make them eternal. Do you understand how important this is? The greatest of all treasures that the Father gives you is this treasure of elevated thoughts, of thoughts filled with good wishes and pure feelings. The Father gives this treasure to every one of you, but you accumulate it number-wise. Your power to experiment with this treasure is also number-wise. Now, have you ever experimented with your good wishes and pure feelings? Have you experienced a successful result by doing this in the right way? This is happening very little at present. Eventually, the power of your thoughts will become very great. At present, 
to give a message in words, you use up your time and wealth and you fluctuate. You become tired as well. However, when you are able to serve with the power of your elevated thoughts, you will save all of those things. Therefore, increase your power of thoughts. When you increase your power of thoughts, revelation will take place very quickly. How many souls have you given the message to in the last 62 to 63 years? You haven't even served 900,000 souls. You have to give this message to all the souls of the whole world. So how many billion souls are there? As yet, it hasn't become clear that God is teaching you, that God is making you move, and that God, Karavanha, is working through you. As yet, there is just the sound that all of you are doing good work, but Karavanha is still incognito. With your power of thoughts, you can still transform everyone's intellect. Whether in the form of God's divine activities or in his form of the Father, God will be revealed. Therefore, once again, Bapdada is now still asking you to pay attention to increasing your power of thoughts and to experiment with that continuously. Do you understand? Bapdada told you to practice concentrating your minds in a second. When adverse situations suddenly come, you will be able to finish that problem with the power of your minds. That situation will just be something to teach you a lesson. Therefore, all of you must now concentrate your minds and intellects. See whether you are able to do this. Bapdada conducted drill. Continue to practice this throughout the day. Acha. To all the elevated souls everywhere, to the souls who play an elevated part in the beginning, the middle and at the end. To those who have experienced the successful results of elevated thoughts. To those who, as well as being easy yogis, are also souls who experiment. To those who increase all their powers with their power of thoughts. To those who pay full attention to their minds and intellects. To the children who constantly experiment. Bapdada's love, remembrance and namaste. Bapdada is seeing all the children of this land and abroad. The love and remembrance you send through your thoughts and your heart to heart conversations reaches Bapdada. Love and remembrance to all you children in every country, wherever you may be listening to Baba through the power of science. Special love and remembrance to daughter Janak, because although she is physically sitting there, her mind is here. Therefore, special love and remembrance to each and every one of you. Acha. Very good yoga bhati programs are taking place. Bapdada speaking to the daddies. Do you constantly consider yourselves to be the lights of Bapdada's eyes? By constantly being merged in Baba's eyes, you will constantly be merged in Baba's Drishti. This is the special festivity of the father and the children at the confluence age. To meet, to listen, to eat and drink with Baba 
is also the special festivity of the Confluence Age. You will all return home together whilst celebrating in this way. Then you will go down into your kingdom. You are going to rule your kingdom with Father Brahma. It is good. People of the world are constantly thinking and you are constantly celebrating. You don't have any thoughts as to what will happen or how something is going to happen, do you? You don't have any of these types of thoughts. Acha. Blessing. May you use all the powers you have received in this final birth and become filled with will power. This sweet drama is predestined in a very good way. No one can change it. However, in this elevated Brahmin birth of the drama, you have received many powers. The Father has willed them to you, and so you have will power. Use this power whenever you want. Become detached from the bondage of your body and stabilize in the karmateet stage. I am detached. I am a master. I am a soul who has been made an instrument by the Father. Stabilize your mind and intellect in this awareness and you will be said to be filled with will power. Slogan Do service from your heart and the door to blessings will open. Om Shanti Notice, today is the third Sunday, International World Meditation Day, and all Brahmin children will collectively have yoga from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Stabilize yourself in your ancestor form and donate powers to the whole tree. Bring every soul personally in front of you and give them drishti filled with love, and give them the feeling of belonging. 